is Charmaine and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, thanks so much for stopping by. Please hit that red bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. I upload new videos twice a week. And um, go ahead and please push that like button if you like the content in this video. If you like the things that I'm sharing so I can keep on, so I can keep on bringing you new, to, new tutorial videos. For, and for those of you that already subscribed, thanks for coming back and thanks for your support. Today we are going to be making these nurse key fobs. Aren't they beautiful? That's the back. That's the front. It comes with a little keychain. Um, I have ordered to make so I said, let me go ahead and go ahead and do the video because I know people have been asking me um how I made this. I did do a video on this key chain, so please check that out. But people want to see different colors. So I'm going to be doing a video on this so you can see how I switch the colors and stuff like that, okay? Let me show you the other ones I, I've made because I just love doing this. So I'd like to show y'all the crafts that I made with my embroidery machine. I made my Betty Boo red on the back. This is all vinyl, y'all. Um, marine vinyl. Or you can use um, faux leather. I made her. Okay. If you're interested in these, these are on my Etsy page. I love making these. I got black on this side, but I make them all the same color on my Etsy page. My Etsy page is... Charming Gal Boutique number two. So that's Charming Gal Boutique two. I gotta put the key ring on this one. But and I also got this one. And all of these, y'all, all of these I purchased on Etsy and they was already they already digitized. I didn't have to do anything to these, just put them in my my um put them on my flash drive from Etsy and then I put it right here in my um embroidery machine. If you want to know how to upload images from etsy to your flash drive please check out my video i'll link it below this one i did um do this one i digitized this one because i bought a blank it's called a blank key fob from etsy and i just put my name in here okay so what i can do is i just bought this blank one and i um added my name i can add any other name on here if i want to too but you have to have a software to to do this to add something into um a design like this okay um for these you don't have to have a software okay but if you want to um use a software i do have a uh, i do have a video on the brilliance and it's 130 dollars for you to download it on your computer and i have a video on how to do that and i'll link that below also okay um if you want to resize these you have to um you also have your um um a brilliance which you, so you can't resize if you want to make it bigger than four by four or whatever size basically i'm gonna show you in a minute let me show you my computer how the file looks when they um send it to you okay i'm not going to show you how to upload anything because i got a video on that but i'm going to i didn't show y'all how the file looks when they when they give it to you okay so let me show y'all real quick this is how um when you basically go to a brilliance you um i mean when you basically go to etsy you download your um file to your computer this is how it, this is how it looks it's a zip file what I did, I just opened the zip file, and this is all the files that's in that zip file, okay? Um, basically, you'll see, you might not can't see because it's not close enough, but on here it says, um, I'll just read to you what it says, okay? Because this is how yours is going to come. If you, if you make sure you get a, um, it says embroidery file um, or made for embroidery machines, and it'll tell you the sizes they have, make sure you check that on Etsy to see the size, you have, the hoops you have. If you only have a 4x4, four four, make sure you only buy a 4x4. Four four. But sometimes, most of these files come with all the sizes. So this nurse file came with all the sizes. So just make sure if you have a brother's um, embroidery machine, make sure you always either download the DST, the DST, or the um, PES, okay? And right here, it tell you, on this line right here, these are all four by fours, okay? Four by four hoops. On this line right here, it's all, um, these are all four by four hoops too. And right here, it started with the five by sevens, okay? And then, so they, basically this file, this zip file is only for five, by sevens and four by four hoops okay so if i want the bigger hoop it won't it, you, it won't work unless you have an embrilliance then you can just go ahead and upload a four by four in embrilliance and you can make it as big as you want to in embrilliance okay what i do is just basically drag this file right into my if it's on um, my um my flash drive okay? that's how you basically do it you don't have to put all these on your flash drive just basically put the one that you want to use okay but i want to show you one more thing before i close this out Every time you get a file, you should have something like this. They should give you a PDF file so you can be able to see how to change the colors and stuff, okay? So this is a color sheet. I guess that's what they call it, a color sheet. And it tells you, this is the, um, it basically tells you, here's the, um, how it looks right here. And right here, it tells you the stitch. The first stitch will be 
your um satin, your um your base stitch. Then they'll do the hair, which is gonna change it to black, and then take the color right here. Then it will do the white part, okay? And then it do the red part. Then do the red. I mean, then, then it do the skin tone. Then it do this is white right here. Then it do the lips. Then it, the other black part white. And then um it'll be complete. Oh, then it's do the earrings, and then it'll do the other the top stitch, okay? So this is really good because if you can't really see the diagram on your little screen on your brother machine or your brother machine, you could use this because you can see it better. Now I usually print these out because basically most times if I'm going to do this for, for a customer, and I um these colors don't match. These colors don't match what um I use because these don't match what I my my um threads. So what I do is I just basically take this color and whatever blue I use I write the number down right here so I can know when I do this again I know what color I use for her um for for the blue part okay so instead of putting using cayenne I just scratch it out and I put down what color I use that's the number the number on my thread that I use okay that's how I do mine so I print it out and put it in the book if you want to that's fine but I do it because I sell these things and if I have it on my website and it looks just like this this is what they want I gotta make sure I got the right colors so they won't be like oh this is not the color it was on your website so I make sure I print these out and I um I scratch out the color and I put down what color I use, okay? Tell y'all what, what we need for this project. First, we're gonna need our hoop. I'm using my um, brother's Innovis NQ1600E, okay? But you can use any machine with a, and you can use your four by four hoop. So I also have a brother PE800 can do the same. It's the same thing I'm doing with this one. It's gonna be the same thing I'm doing with my other machines, okay? Like I said, I have a PE800 and I also have a P. I have a SE625. The P, the SE625 only come with this um the 4x4 hoop, but you can order more hoops. But I just change I just use that for my sewing machine because it's a dual. It's basically a sewing machine slash embroidery machine. So I just use that uh, for my sewing machine. Okay. And the other two machines, it goes up from a four, you can get like a 2.1 all the way to this machine goes to a six by ten. Okay. Um, but the um, PE goes up to a, a five by seven, but you can order bigger hoops, okay? Because I can do two projects at a time. Cause you know it takes a long time for these machines to um, pump out <laughs> a, a image, okay? So I can do a, I can do I can run two at the same time. So that's the reason why I keep I kept both of my machines, okay? Okay, and you can get it off of Amazon. I will put a link down below. Right now they sell it, they sold out because we're in this pandem pandemic. But um, when they get back, you can get them on there, or you can also get the um, PE. I got my PE800 and I got my PE, my SE625 from Walmart. Okay, I got them both from Walmart. And this but this big one right here, I got from um, my a store, a, a sewing machine store in my area. So the one, the bigger ones, you probably got to go to a sewing machine in your area, a sewing machine store in your area to purchase it. Okay, so you're gonna need your hoop. This is a four by four hoop because I use a small hoop for these little images right here. But I could, um, I did. I do need to make more of these for my site, but I didn't want to confuse y'all. So I was going to do like five of them, or I could have did like probably eight or nine of them on my, on my bigger hoop, my six by 10 hoop, but I just want to keep it simple for the new beginners. Okay. And I can um, basically do the other ones later on my bigger hoop. I'm going to show you how to do one. Okay. And so you're going to need your, um, stabilizer. I'm going to use, this is, you can use tear away or um, cut away. I'm gonna use cut away because you're not gonna be able to see the stabilizer in this because it's gonna be covered up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use a tear away. Cause, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and use a cut away because I really don't use that much cut away because I don't like cutting it, but I still, I have a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it for my, for these because you don't see it. I don't gotta worry about cutting it off or anything like that because it's covered up, okay? So that's the reason why I'm using that. And then you're also gonna need your, your um. this is marine vinyl. I got it from Joanne's Fabric. Um, I get it in rolls or whatever. They cut it how, how much I want. And you can also use um, faux leather, okay? And they have these all different colors. You're gonna need your scissors. I got the, uh, the links below from Amazon. I, um, these are curved scissors. These are also curved a little bit too. This is good for embroidery and uh, doing the stitches and your fat, cutting your fabrics and stuff. It's three is I need red, black, gold, and white, okay? And you don't have to, like I said, some of the times the images come and your computer to tell you what color or whatever, and it has a number. These might not be the same numbers you use because your, your thread might not be programmed into your computer, but you don't have to have the same thread that's in your computer or whatever in your machine. Um, I just bought this this um, thread on Amazon and I'll link that below too, and it's really good. It's 100% polyester and it's really good. I love the thread. Okay, so and you're gonna need some um, spray and bond and I'll show you when you have to use this, okay? Also, you're gonna need your bobbin thread, and I also have this link below. 
I used all white bobbin thread. So I got this from Amazon and it's wonderful. You don't have to worry about messing up your machine, trying to load your, do your own bobbin machine. Uh, it's, it can be a headache, y'all. Believe me. That's why I bought these. It can be a headache um, winding your own bobbin. Okay. And you're going to also need your snap taps. We'll look at this later. During the video, I'll show you how to use these later. But I got this from Amazon too. This whole box from Amazon. And I'll link that below also. Okay, so let's get started. Like I said, I already showed. Let me go ahead and show you how to first get your hoop together. Okay, so you just basically turn this little knob back down here at the bottom. This is, it goes, this is the same for every machine, okay? You just it basically do this. And then you just basically put your um you just lay this in here. Make sure you cut it a little bit bigger than your um hoop. And you just lay this in here like this. And you just push it. Okay, you push it in there. Lift it back up. My nose, my nails is raggedy and they hurt because they're about to break off. So um I'm just trying to be patient so they won't break off in the video. <laughs> they so thin. And I need to get them done. And I can't take them off the polish off because it's the um gel polish and i don't have the stuff for the gel polish you got you need to drill for gel polish okay i like this machine. okay let me tell you the difference between this and my um e the, let me tell you the difference between this machine and my pe 800 but you, this machine it just slides see this right here it just slides into the um machine okay it slides just like this it's so easy but the, the other ones you have to clamp it on and sometimes it can get it's not that hard but sometimes it just it can get kind of crazy trying to clamp them things on if you have big projects and stuff it can be like tiles and stuff it's gonna be it can be crazy but this is just so easy it just slides on in there okay i'm gonna show you in a minute but i gotta turn my machine on first before i slide it in there okay so now let's go ahead and turn the machine on for the first prompt and it's basically gonna move so make sure you um you don't put your hoop in there until you turn it on okay okay so let me try to turn this over so you can see the screen a little bit around so you can see the screen okay you can see a little bit okay so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put in our flash drive okay here's my flash drive we put it right here on the side every all the brothers machines have these and all the newer machines have the color screen what i like about this machine of course there's two main reasons only two difference really in these two machines is this hoop goes into a six by ten goes into a six by ten this is like i said this is the 1600 e okay brothers and um i like this because it goes up to a six by ten hoop and it it cuts your stitches you don't have to worry about cutting your jump stitches and y'all know them jump stitches can be a kind of a booger sometimes we had them little small projects especially when you have a lot of fonts okay they cut the stitch for you and i love this about this machine that's why i'm using it today first thing you need to do is go ahead and push this button right here so i can be able to upload everything from my from my um flash drive you can see it's coming up now but it's taking a little while because i have a lot on my um, flash drive okay so basically what I need to do is, I know that these are all my files right here, but I know that the last thing I uploaded was um, the um, nurse file. So I just go over and it's, it's right here, okay? It's kind of hard to see the images, but here it is right here. And then I already sized it or whatever. Like I said, you don't, I mean, this is how it came, okay? It comes, comes just like this, but then I just basically flipped it this way so I just basically took it and I rotated it a little bit from like the degree angle already. I did this already um, because if you do it sideways, you would get more. You can get more image inside of the box. But if you do it straight up and down, it'll be shorter. So just try anytime you get something like a long, something like this long, you just put it in the corner in the box right here from going from like this diagonally because straight up and down, you won't get that much. Okay, so just remember that tip, okay? Turn it. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and um, size it because if I see if I can get it bigger on here, so you can get bigger a little bit on here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I just, I said I sized it, I went ahead and push okay. And then I rotate it the way I want it. And then I push in edit. Then I push embroidery. Okay, and right now it's telling me right here to tell you the stitch. I don't know if you can see that real good, but right here it tell you the the, the, um, the bottom stitch, okay? This is called the, um, the oh, I can't think of the name a little bit, but that's the stitch that the first stitch you need to put on there so you can be able to um lay your so you can know where to lay your material okay so you can go ahead and push put this in here like for me i had to just slide it in there make sure your hoop is up make sure your um foot is up you just 
slide it on in there. And you clap it down. Okay. So now I have my stuff, my um hoop in there. And that's all I gotta do is go ahead and um push my presser foot down right here. And all machines are different. Some machines you just basically like for the P eight hundred you gotta push it. You could do that right like that. Okay. Or I, I don't know, you do, I thought you had to just do this all the whole time. So you could do it back from here or you could do it from right here, okay? And now the green button means go, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and push the green button. Okay. See, now that's all done. So now what I need to do is, um. Get my fat, my whatever you have, fabric, or whatever. So I'm gonna use this right here. The first thing I need to do is before I put this on here, I, I mean I cut it to the side. So I want to make sure it fits. Let's see. So it fits. Okay. So you cut it to the, make sure the whole all the image fits inside of here. So you can make sure you um the the basically the stitch is going to stitch on top of it. Okay. So what I need to do is get my spray and bond and the spray on here on the back of here so it can stick on here. Okay. So let me go ahead and get my spray and I'm gonna spray it out the camera because I don't want this to be in my face. I used to spray it in the box and I'll be right back. Okay, what this spray does, it basically keeps the um this vinyl from moving. So you don't want it to move while you're um printing, while your your sewing machine is stitching your item. I mean your image, okay? So you just basically smooth it on. Right here is the um black, it's three minutes. And then it tells you the next color is one minute, the next color is three, I mean, is one minute, then the last one or um, is two. And this basically, every time you finish this color, it'll stop. The machine will stop so you can switch the colors, okay? And right here in this box, it'll tell you what it's gonna be stitching. So right here is the black part, so that must be the hair that's gonna be stitching, okay? You can see that. And right here it says it's gonna take three minutes for the um, this to go, but you got 11 minutes for the whole thing to um, to um, stitch out. So, um, and it's 4,962 stitches, okay? And then you on, I'm on my second color and I have 11 colors. I'm so now it's on here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and push my presser foot down. So I already got my black in there. I'm gonna go ahead and push go. And it's gonna go ahead and do the hair. Every time I do a video, it wanna mess up. So my thread just broke. Don't know why, but let's check it. Basically, I'm, I'm glad that happened because I can tell y'all what I usually do when my thread breaks, okay? So basically, I lift, it says check your, uh, um, rewind your upper thread, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and push okay. I lift, press up, press up my, my presser foot. And I always, every time my thread break, I always check my um bobbin thread because if something's going on with the upper, upper thread, it might be the bobbin thread too, okay? You never know what it is. And see, you can see how it's getting caught down here, okay? So yeah, it's the must, and usually you say upper thread, but must, it might be the bobbin thread, okay? Just causing the upper thread to break. So I'm gonna cut all this stuff off at the back, on the bottom, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and just check my um my bobbin thread. Yeah, it's a mess, look at that. So yeah, every time you get that little just change everything, y'all, because you don't never know what it's gonna be. It's probably the bobbin thread. So now I'm gonna show y'all how to do the bobbin thread since we're on here, okay? So basically for this machine, you gotta make sure the bobbin thread is like this, okay? Lay it, make sure it's, it's like this way. You just basically drop it in there. Don't let it move when you get in there because it will mess up. Believe me, I didn't have problems with this. And I had a couple of problems with this thread breaking a lot, a lot on this machine, okay? But for my um, PE, 800 i haven't had no problems with that one it's it dry it's smooth but i like this one because i don't want to cut no uh jump thread like i said this this one works really well but like i said i don't have a lot of problem with this you know the thread breaking okay um but yeah hopefully we'll get better with it 
Okay, so now I make sure when, and I had a problem when I first bought it and I had to take it to the shop. It's like make sure when you put the bobbin thread in, you hold it tight. Don't let this move while it's in there. While you when you basically I was just letting it sit there and I just let I just pull it and it was moving. Don't let this move for this machine. Okay? So that's the problem I had and it would not work for me. So I took it to the shop and they told me what I did wrong. I keep it still. It's probably gonna be a little it's probably gonna be noticeable because this is um marine vinyl. So you might see the mistake I made. So I might have to do this over for my client. But always on this machine, also you gotta go back 10 stitches or it will skip. So every time you take out your um your hoop, make sure you go back to 10. I'm gonna show you how that goes. So now um put the presser foot down, but then I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to go to you see this like this little thing right here is got a little um uh the needle and then the plus and minus right here. I push on that. Which, and I'm gonna go back 10. It says 100, you can go back one, you can go back 10, you can go back 100. But right now I'm just gonna, or you can go, you can just go back colors too right here. Okay, this does the uh, spool, thread spool, you can go back colors or you can go up colors. Right now I'm just gonna go, go back 10. Okay, I'm gonna go back 10 more. So right there. It'll tell you right here where I'm where I'm going back at, right here, a little um, X telling you where it went back to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Push okay. And I'm gonna push the green button because I want to go back so it won't mess up my design. Go back. Okay, let's go ahead and push go, and hopefully my thread won't break again on this project. Okay, y'all, I was having a lot of issues, okay? Um, basically, this is a new machine. I did all of my other, I did all these on my 800, my PE 800 and my PE in my SE 625, I did not have to change the needle on my other machine. So I'm thinking it was jumping around with the bobbin. So I kept on trying to do the bobbin over. I went on YouTube, I mean, I went on Facebook and asked some questions from, you know, to some of my um, members and other groups. And they told me I need to change the needle. I was like, what? So I didn't know how to change the needle because I'd never changed the needles on my other machines and it worked perfectly on the vinyl. So I changed the needle and it's working fine. But I wanted to go ahead and go through another color before I got back on the camera to, to make another mistake. So I didn't have to tell you this. I was going to do the whole video over again, start fresh. But I'm like, no, let me go ahead and go, go on now and let you know um, I make mistakes. I'm not, I'm new at this machine. I do have two, I'm new, new at all three of my machines. I just bought all three of them. So I'm new at all three of them. So they are different. I would have never known you to change the, the, the needle to this machine because they're all the same machines. But yes, they're not, they, they made by the same company, but they are different. So yes, you do have to change the machine. You do have to change the needle for the um for this machine, which is the NQ1600E. But on the brother machine, the, the PE800 and the P, um, SE625, you can use the 7511 for the vinyl because I did. I didn't change it before, so and it worked just fine. The only time I changed the needle for any of these machines before was for denim. So, yes, I'm using a denim needle, which is 9014. Okay. So, I'm going to hit and need the black. As you can see, my thread kept on breaking right here. You can see the white. I don't know if you can see it that good, but you can see the, um, the bobbin thread kept on going through. So, I thought of something wrong with the bobbin. So I went on ahead uh, and I basically went over it again, which you can't do that. When you see a bobbin making mistakes, it was, it was worse than this. So I went back over it with the black and it got most of the um, black cover, um, most of the white cover that was coming through the bobbin. Okay, so when your bobbin start coming through, stop your machine and figure it out. So I just figured it out after trying for about 30 minutes. Um, kept on breaking, kept on eating the thread up inside the machine. So I thought there was something wrong with this up here. But um, it's okay now. So I went ahead and did the black. I did the white. Now I'm about to go ahead and do the red. The red is the, the fourth color because I, I did the outline also. So we did the um, outline, the white, and then the um, black. Now we're going to do the um, red. As you see right here, it says one minute for the red. Okay. It's kind of hard to try, try to video with this kind of machine because I have my phone on tripod. I don't want to take my phone off and put it back on the tripod. So this is how we're gonna do it. I basically put the um thread on, on here on the bottom of the rack, and then you just basically put the thread through here, let it hang through, and you and then you put it through the machine. So I'm gonna show you. Put it behind the machine right here. Then basically the thread comes through here. Then you go from one right here 
then number go up loop and then you go over to two you go down to three you go back up to four you go down to five make sure your um, foot is up okay then you go over to six all the numbers are there then it's seven right here pull it over and it's a little cut thing right here to cut your thread on the side and you just cut it pull it and then it go ahead and do it for you cut the thread for you okay that's how you change your thread and i'll leave this up people might put, leave it down but i leave it up so i can see if my if my, if my thread start shaking stuff i can see it's getting stuck so i'll leave that up and then i go ahead and push the, the push your, um the pressure foot down and then now it says it's green so it's time to go but let's pray we don't have no more mistakes y'all like i said we're gonna see how this cut this bobbin usually um this cut your jump strip stitch so i shouldn't have any problems with the jump stitch okay okay y'all i guess that new needle was working I guess I changed it to the 9011. And uh, now, now the little old tiny bit of red. Now I gotta change it. That wasn't no minute. Change it to the brown for the face. Okay. So it stops every time it change, the color change, the machine stops. Keep our fingers crossed, y'all. I don't want no more problems. I just watch you got to, like I said you got to babysit this like my my um I'm not trying to say nothing wrong with this machine but I've been having a lot of issues with my um PE 800 it works I don't have to really babysit the other one I was I did so many projects in that PE 800 and I just walked away from it this one is kind of scary <laughs> so I just sit around and I just I, I just keep eye on it because they just be jumping off of no this be going crazy sometimes just you know the thread and like I said my thread was um basically um popping a lot so that's why i got i don't put it up here anymore i got me a stand since everybody was saying get you a stand so okay give me a thread stand so i thought that'll work keep it um keep it together so that's good there's no bobbin thread coming through so that's a plus that's the skin tone it's looking really good down and I was gonna do the white shirt. Well yeah so I, that's a good thing I like it I mean because the other two machines I got from Walmart online so if I have any problems with them I'm gonna have to call brothers and talk to them on the phone. This one right here I can take it to the shop. And then I got it on five year warranty and free training. They'll train me for free on how to work the machine. They'll do um training courses. So I really liked it and I'm glad I did because it cost a lot of money. This was fourteen hundred dollars. So I want to make sure I um get all I can get out of this machine. The other ones I did purchase or um I did purchase warranties on the other ones too. But um I can't sit in the, go nowhere face to face talking to nobody. I had to basically just car brothers and they walk me through it. So I got it from Walmart. I'm gonna go ahead now I'm gonna do the um the, her earrings and then we got another it says brown um to do and i don't know what that is we will see after we do the earrings what's next if you like the content of this video please please um like the video i'm trying i'm trying to bring out new videos on different things i love doing it so just stay with me and we can do so many things on this channel i upload videos twice a week so please um, stay tuned for more videos from Cricut, Silhouette, and these embroidery machines, heat press, sublimation, scissors. I have all kinds of stuff, y'all. I just love learning new things, to, to um, new crafts with, with my gadgets. I have the um, button maker. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my foot down. That's the goal. It's gonna do the earrings. It's gonna take one minute. Well, they want me to be like one second. So, <laughs> so we're gonna see them. Go ahead, go ahead and do these earrings. I have the um, tumbler um, spinners. I can make tumblers. I can do all kinds of stuff, y'all. 
But right now, I, I, my focus on, I want to do more um, key rings, key chains, key thought, fobs. I want to do some of the fraternity ones, the sororities, key chains. I want to do a lot of, and I also want to do patches. And I also want to work on a little bit more sewing. I want to sew up some um, pillows and um, or embroider on the pillows, you know, before I stuff them. I'm going to do some more, do that. Let me know what you want to see. If you want to see those videos. Whatever video you want to see, just let me know so I can get it, um, get it out to you. Cause I don't want to go making these videos if you don't want them. If you don't want them. <laughs> okay, y'all, it's turning out. It's turning out okay. Now I'm not gonna cry like a little girl. Oh, that's why it's okay. The next one is our, our border. So I want my border to. I'm gonna go ahead and get the border to be gold. Okay, so this is what this border is. Right here, it's gold. So what I gotta do before I get to do the border, I gotta put the other side of the um. The backing one, okay. So let me go ahead and get my vinyl, and, I'm, and then I'm gonna show you how to do that. Make sure it's cut. Put the bobby thread. Okay. okay. Then you go ahead and pull this out. Okay. And it looks a mess back there. It looks a mess because <laughs> my bobbin is just all over the place. But now I guess it, the needle it was just the needle. Okay. So you see how um this is pulling up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some more spray on here, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and let's make sure I got the right the same color. Got the same color, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off my um my row. We gotta make sure we cover this up. So I'm gonna make sure it's the same size. It's this one. Let's make sure it covers it up. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is basically go ahead and spray it more spray on it on here so it can stay still. So it won't lump up when it's doing that top part. We gotta go back over here again. You see this? I'm gonna spray this, okay? I'm gonna spray the back of this, and I'm gonna lay this on here, just like that, and it's our backing. So we're gonna make sure we have a front and a back to our thing, to our key fob, okay? And you always do that because this is the last, let me show you. This is the last part right here. Turn the light off. As you can see, this is the last part of the design right here, okay? And that is basically this thing right here. We already did this in the front to get our, um, the, the first, this was the first stitch. So we always gotta have a, the, the last stitch to make sure you have it stitched together, two pieces of vinyl stitched together. I'm gonna go ahead and spray that over here on my, on my, in my box. So I won't get all this spray everywhere. Again, I use this spray and bond and I got it from Joanne Fabrics. I'm getting, I also leave the link for Amazon, okay? Y'all know I love you cause this gave me the blues today, y'all. I had to stop and go. <laughs> Leave the house to come back and finish this video for y'all. Cause I know y'all been asking for it. So I said, let me come back and figure it out. So yes, I had a needle problem. And th this machine does want to do this jump stitch. It just, it did miss this one right here. This red and this black one. So I don't know what that was about, but it was, it was supposed to cut it and it didn't. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this right now just because it's off the rat, off the, um, off the thing. Let me show you how I do that. And basically I have my curved scissors, which works wonders. Just basically just scoot it under the red thread and snip it. That's why I, I okay. I haven't had no problems with my PE 800 or my um, other one, but I haven't really, I did some embroidery on my P, uh, my S. I'm gonna get these numbers all mixed up because there's so many machines. I I did do my uh, some birdie embroidery. I did do some more embroidery with my um 625, but um I'm doing more sewing and I've been cranking out some masks like crazy, so I haven't had no problem with that. I love that machine for sewing. I love it. Very easy to um learn how to use. And if you if you just still thinking about if you want to get a um embroidery machine, just you get that one. That's why I got it because I can be able to, if I didn't want to use embroidery, if I didn't really like embroidery, I can just use it for sewing. But I love it for both of them. But I'm just gonna use it for sewing though. But I can always use it for embroidery if I want to. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is just pull this thread out a little bit because it's kind of short. I'm gonna bring it out some so it won't get, so it won't break again. Okay, that's good enough. Put my foot down. And now it's gonna just do the border and we'll be done y'all. So push go. And we'll be done with this keychain. It gave me the blues. <laughs> Why is it doing this? <sighs> I'm not gonna delete this. I'm not gonna even um start over. I'm just gonna let y'all see how it's doing. This is what this machine is doing. Okay. 
Here's my thread. Let's eat my thread up. But I only got one more stitch to do, and then you need to stop it so I can go ahead and <laughs> do the other ones. I'm just going to go ahead and do, go to my other machine and do the rest of the other ones. I'm not about to have this happen to me, keep on happening to me. This is very, very, very frustrating, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and do my P800, take this to the shop, and see what's the wrong, what the problem is. So if y'all see me going through this, I'm not going to edit this part. I'm going to show y'all what's going on. It's not, some people say it's easy to um do this. It is, but sometimes you have hiccups like this. Okay, and don't know why. I'm gonna go back in negative 10 again. We're gonna see if it's gonna work, y'all. We well, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and stop. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the bobbin just in case because it broke twice. Please, Lord, let's finish this project. We're almost done. <laughs> nope. I'm gonna go ahead and push start. Keep on finishing, let it go. So let it go to the now. See no bobbin thread coming up, so that's good too. So I don't know why doing all that clicking noise. There's something wrong with it. But as long as it's going through and no bobbin going through, I'ma let it go. And y'all, I think we're done. Yes. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Look, it says, what does it say? Because <laughs> I'm gonna throw it out the window. It says finished embroidering. <laughs> I'm so happy. Y'all came along with the ride with came along for the ride with me. Okay. So let me um turn the machine off because I'm not be, I'm not gonna be playing with this no more today. Took my little uh, flash drive off out of it. I'm gonna go to the um PE 800 and do the rest of them. I'm not about to deal with it. Okay, so now we have this basically basically let me show you the back. Yeah, that thread all over the place, y'all. See, I guess the needle was getting caught up in that thread, the bobbin, all over the place, y'all. What in the world? So you can see where the bobbin supposed to be on the back. I don't know. There's something going on with that bobbin. I'm gonna just cut all the string from the back because this look horrible, so you can't sell nothing like this. So I wind it. Excuse my nail, I broke my nail. Can't wait to get these nails done, y'all. I cannot wait. If I was able to get my hair done today, my mother did my hair for me. <laughs> oh, got that out the way. Now these nails. Okay, so I'll give me some scissors. And I just basically cut around. And for these, you can use a little, you can keep a little um border around. Like here, I put I kept a little border around it so you're gonna cut the thread. It's cute like that. A little border, or it's up to you if you want to cut it all the way to the um closely to it, you can. I'm gonna go ahead and show you half of what I'm, how I cut it. Then I'll go ahead and fast forward because I know you want to see me cutting. Everybody know how to cut. But just keep a little border around it if you want to. I did it for that for all the other, my other ones. So just keep a little space around the thread. Okay, here it is, it's done. And this is a little bit bigger too. I like the size, cause like I said, you can't, um, this is the uh, the PE 800, and see how it's, you can make this one bigger in this machine, even though it's the same hoop. But look, this I couldn't go no bigger in, with this one be in the other machine. I don't know why they both four by four hoops, but they are different machines, okay? So this is able to go a little bit wider, just a little bit, okay? But maybe we don't really want it that big anyway. The size is a nice size for the keychain. Like I showed you before, this came from um, Amazon. I'll put the link below. The snap taps. I use the same color I use on this one. I thought black would be cute on there too, but I'm just going to use this. is all the colors it come with. Like I said, I'll put the link below. And what color did I use? I use this cream color. Okay. You need one of those pieces. You need these pieces and you need you can see that another one of these pieces up. I think you need four pieces on the game let me check and see so I'm new to this so yes you need the um the two sharp P800 
pieces for right here, the stickies, and then you need an uh, inner and outer, a male and a female, okay? Let me sure I get the right one. So I have these two already, and I need the other one. Okay, here it is. Okay. And we need four snap caps to get our stuff together. Out of here, this right here on the wall. This other stuff, I haven't used none of this stuff yet, so oh, yes, I did. I use this right here to punch the hole. Snap tap right here and put a hole right here in the middle. And some of the designs that come from Essie, they had a little, little um, dot, little hole there, so you can, I mean, the little, they give you a little point right there, and they make a little thread, it's a thread right there, a little circle for you, so you can know where to put the um, snap taps at. So basically, you just basically push this in here like this, okay? And you just, you can push it in your, your hand and see it, the little thing go through the back, okay? See, now it's through the back, okay? And then I always put this one on the bottom. It's your purpose, you can do it however you wanna do it. So I just put this on the, this one on the bottom and make so that little thing can go inside, oh, I'm sorry. So this thing can go inside of it, okay? So the sticky, little the pointy thing is sticking out okay so you just basically put this inside and smush it and then you'll know if it's in there if this thing is um flat it's not sharp anymore it's flat okay so they have it's called male female parts <laughs> so let's go ahead and put this other one right here okay put it about right here Push it through. See, see now you see that little pointy thing out? It's sharp. And I just put this on top. Do the same thing. It's a different kind of. Mm -mm, I did it wrong. Got the wrong one. When I look at that, see how this one comes out? One of them comes out, and one of them is flat. Okay, so it can snap. So I had two flat ones. I need to get the other one that comes out. So then when you just play around with it, make sure it works. Okay? Yeah, that thread is all over the place. We have it. Our little snap tap flap fob keychain. Okay, we put this in here. I got these from Amazon too. So I put in the link also. Hello. Here's our um key fob, y'all. So happy I'm done with this video. <laughs> so this is the one we just did. This is the one I did with my other machine. I'm pretty sure I did this with my, um, I don't know which one I did it with. 800, or you did a 625. So I started writing down where I do with my, my, <laughs> my things on, but it's a, it's a key fob. And then it's the back. The bigger one is from the, the um, 1600. This one's from the smaller machine. You did a PE800 or you did a SE625. Okay. And that is all for this video, y'all. This one, like I said, I'm going to go sell this because look how the thread came up. Is the, the bobbin thread came through. You see that white? You don't want that. Okay. And then also, everything else did good, though. I got to cut that red piece off right there. But everything else did good. This one did. This one is perfect. This one is perfect. All right, y'all. Please subscribe to my channel. Please check out my website, www.charminggalboutique.com. My Etsy page is w is um my Etsy page is Charming Gal Boutique number two. Um, please leave me a review if you purchase anything on my site. Please leave me a review because I'm it's hard being a, I just started Etsy and um I just want you know if I if I if you purchase anything just go ahead and leave me a review and let me know how you like the service okay and how your, your shipping everything was um. Right now, we are not taking any more people into our Brown Girls Craft with Cricky group because there's too many people in there now. I'm just trying to, um, and it's hard to know. It's just hard to handle it. I got a lot of going on, okay? So, right now, we're not taking any more new members, but we probably will, you know, later, but not right now. So, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a blessed one.